Hi, my name is Jack Aker, and today I will be talking about soil responses as affected by hemp production in Kentucky. Soil is a dynamic medium in which the physical, chemical, and biological processes are always changing due to man and nature. Recently, Kentucky has adopted hemp as a substitute to tobacco production. However, there is little to no research evaluating how hemp affects soil properties. Therefore, the objective of this study is to investigate how hemp impacts soil properties, including soil compaction, soil pH, soil moisture content, and soil temperature. This study was conducted at Murray State's West Farm, located at 2109 College Farm Road, Murray, Kentucky. The fields in this site are part of a five-year crop rotation as followed. Corn, followed by hemp, soybeans, and tobacco. There are three hemp fields being used in this study, cultivated under different practices. Hemp field number one is for biomass and was cultivated under plastic with drip irrigation under the plastic. Hemp, num hemp field number two was cultivated at, for biomass as well, but had no plastic and only a pivot irrigation system on the corner. Hemp field number three is the largest of the three fields and is for fiber hemp. This field is characterized by stocky long stems and very tight rows. The main soil series of, this, of these fields are Granita silt loam, Callaway silt loam, Callaway Kirk complex, and Brandon Lax complex. The sites in the study all had 10 replications in order to maintain continuity throughout the fields. Each field had four measurements, including soil compaction, soil pH, soil moisture content, and soil temperature. Each of these measurements were taken at two depths of 0 to 7.5 centimeters and 7.5 to 15 centimeters in order to represent the A horizon topsoil. Ten random locations were selected on each field in order to measure soil compaction with a penetrometer at both depths. The same process was used to measure soil pH and soil moisture using a moisture meter and pH meter. Soil temperature was also conducted using the same methods with a soil temperature gauge. The results of the first conclusion show that the field with the lowest compaction rating was hemp field number one with a compaction rating of 103.5 and 166 PSI respectively. The fields with the highest compaction rating was the corn field with a compaction rating of 155 and 262 PSI, respectively, followed closely by soybeans. It is important to note that during the soybean measurements, a soil temperature gauge was broken due to the high compaction ratings in the field. Conclusion number three shows that the pH levels remain similar throughout all of the sites, with the exception of the corn and bear sites, with averages below six. Soil moisture content followed the same trend as pH levels, with the lowest moisture content being found in the shallow replications of hemp field number one, two, and the soybean field. Soil temperatures are characteristic to the amount of plant coverage that was found on each site. The fields with the two lowest soil temperatures were found on the soybean site and hemp field number two. These two sites both had the largest amount of plant coverage over the soil, leaving not a lot of soil to direct sunlight. Overall, the findings in this study show that hemp cropping systems could be used as a buffer between corn and soybean crop rotations in order to break up compaction and also neutralize pH. This study will be continued to be performed seasonally in order to measure the variability between soil compaction, soil pH, soil moisture to content, and soil temperature. None of this research would have been possible if without the support and funding of the McNair Scholar Program. We would like to thank Mrs. Leslie Furchus for her continued support and dedication to the McNair Scholars. We would also like to thank Brendan Smith for his support in the field. Thank you.